go. My name's Eddie Brochen. I'm a master class falconer. I'm also a master of the martial arts. I hold a fifth degree black belt uh, certified by the World Taekwondo Federation of Seoul, Korea. Falconry is the art and sport of hunting with falcons, eagles, and hawks. This is an ancient practice that's been passed down from generation to generation since the beginning of time. Trying to handle these raptors without this knowledge can put someone in a very dangerous situation. They are direct descendants of the dinosaurs in which their mentality has not changed for millions of years. Therefore, they must be handled with the utmost of care and respect. It's one of the most compelling, intimate, and overwhelming adventures that you can partake in. This is something man has done for a very long time, and there's a reason for it. It's because it's pretty cool. Catching my first bird of prey was one of the highlights of my life. Imagine Christmas morning, but multiply it a thousand times over, and that's what it was like. Bird comes down and he sits next to the trap and he stares at it, and my heart is just pounding out of my chest. This bird danced around this trap, touched it, would put a foot off, touch it, take its foot off, and uh, finally got caught. You race up to it and you jump out. You run over there and you grab this, this wild bird and realize that you're about to hunt with this animal. Training a bird. You trap the bird, you put the equipment on it, which would be the cuffs and the jesses and all of that, and then you start working with the bird in a process called manning. It's a very old process of getting the bird used to the environment of man, whatever that may be, television sets, cars, washing machines, children, dogs, whatever those things are, you want to get them to a point where they're comfortable with them. Once he starts responding to food rewards, then we're that much closer to getting him outside and flying him on what we call a creons. Once we train that bird to come to the glove on a regular basis, uh, most of us introduce them to a lure, which is some kind of a fake animal of some kind with food rewards attached to it. Once that bird's being real responsive and he's got that look about him, then it's time for the moment of truth. The first hunt with your bird is always a nerve-wracking experience. You, you know, you spend a huge amount of time with your bird to get it to this point through your blood, sweat, and tears, and you just want to see your bird be successful. I'll always remember my uh, first successful hunt as a falconer. I had my uh, passage uh, red tail perched up in this uh, dead tree uh, by this old abandoned barn, and I come out in the field, there's a little brush pile, and I kick the brush pile, and this uh, rabbit shoots out of there, and I remember seeing my bird just uh, shoot out of the sky like a dart and just pin this rabbit down, and I remember just watching the whole thing, and I lifted my hands up. Touchdown! That's the first thing that came to mind. The great thing about hunting with a bird of prey is that the hunts are always different. You know, the quarry doesn't always do the same thing, and your bird oftentimes will change up their approach and their method of hunting to catch that quarry. And it keeps it exciting and fresh, even when you go to the same exact field and you're hunting the same species of quarry. There's always a curveball thrown in there, and from day to day it's different. You really just never know what you're going to see. Now some people might think that taking birds of prey from the wild is inhumane. But statistically speaking, most birds of prey do not make it past their first year in the wild. When you trap a bird, a juvenile bird from the wild, you've saved it from the 80% of them that die in the first year. Falconers love raptors as much as their sport. They were major contributors to the restoration of the peregrine falcon, the largest and most comprehensive endeavor to restore wild populations of an endangered species. Normally after having a bird uh, for a couple seasons that you captured as a first year bird, falconers will release that bird so they can go on to, to breed and complete their circle of life. The bond between the falconer and his raptors can be very, very strong. Uh, all we really do is build a relationship with them in order to share a hunting experience. The magic to me is harnessing something from the wild like that for just a moment and then releasing it and giving it back and giving it, you know, giving it its own life back and giving it a chance to go out and make babies and struggle.